38 special versus 22. And I'm talking 22 in a rifle versus a snub nose 38 special handgun. Now I've been wanting to test something like this for a really, really, really long time. And basically what the point of this test is, is to take two cartridges that in a particular platform have about the same amount of energy, but are completely different on their bullet weight and velocities. So what we have here is we have the CCI Velocitor 40 grain, and we're gonna get up there close to the same energy that this 158 grain bullet will get in this snub nose revolver. However, we're talking about twice the velocity with the 22 as the 38 Special. However, the 38 Special is four times the bullet weight. So basically you got that whole velocity squared mathematical equation, however it is where you, you know, you pretty much, you double your velocity, you quadruple the energy of that weight. Um, you know, I'm not gonna get into all of that, but it will be very interesting to see two cartridges that are very close in power, how they perform against one another. Now this happens to be a hollow point. Uh, that's just all I happen to have. This is just a wad cutter, but you know, hollow points on 22s aren't really much of a thing. And we also have this semi wad cutter edge on this 38 special that should kind of slow the bullet down. So we're gonna go through the chronograph, see what kind of velocity and accuracy we get at the same time. And then as always, we're gonna go through the juggernaut box, which contains a one and three quarter inch pack of bologna covered by four layers of denim, followed by one quarter inch medium density fiberboard. This kind of simulates like a pectoral muscle and sternum. And behind that, we have some water jugs. And typically, you know, handgun ballistics, our bullets stop at about jug three or four, which indicates about 15 to 18 inches comparison to ballistics job. But also, I'm going to hit a couple little wood packs here. I'm going to see how they'll compare because I really have no idea. Uh, how how they would compare in wood. So let's get started with this test. All right, I'm only about five yards from the target and chronograph. I'm using CCI velocitors because these are some really powerful 22 rounds. Thirteen twenty-six. Your average 40 grain gets you about um, 1,200 feet per second. By the way, this is a 24-inch barrel. So we got about 125 feet per second more than your average there. 1332. 1314. Seems like a pretty accurate round so far. I'll probably just jinx myself here. 1306. 1306. That was not right, so I'm going to throw that number out. That did not seem quite right. Something was off with that, but uh, I'll take the, the four shots that we have. That, that could have even been a, a, a round that got mixed in there that wasn't a velocitor, uh, but that's what we're getting. So let's try that uh, 38 Special and see how that compares. All right, next up we have those 158 grain 38 Specials. We'll see what we get. 706. 682. 707. 712. 691. So I think we have just a little bit more energy than that 22, but not by a whole lot. Now let's hit the ballistic box and see how these two compare to each other. All right, just checking my round, make sure it's a velocity it is. And we'll see what we get with the 22 here. <laughs> Pretty good damage to that first jug. All right, this um is interesting. It's definitely a much larger than starting diameter hole. I mean, this is, that's like a nine millimeter size hole in that fiberboard. And what this did to this baloney pack is just very impressive. High velocity damage for sure. Wow. Let's see what we've got in water jugs. All right. Our first jug took on a lot of damage. This isn't unlike maybe a 380 ACP. Interesting. I don't see any marks, 
and jog three. Don't really see any marks out the back of jug two, but I don't see the bullet. All right, that bullet was in jug two and it did expand to about that uh, almost a nine millimeter size diameter. That's really impressive for what it is. Um, our penetration though would be more on par with about 10 inches comparison to ballistics gel. So definitely a nasty little round there. Let's try that 38 special. All right, 38 special. What's interesting about this is that even if I used a hollow point at this velocity and energy level, this bullet absolutely would not expand anyways. So using, you know, this the semi wad cutter is, is still a fair comparison in my opinion to that uh, 22 there. So let's see what we get with 38 special. All right. All right, what's interesting about this is our bullet hole looks pretty much identical in size comparison to that 22. And what's interesting again is our damage. It's not quite as extensive as that 22, but it's, it's similar. Let's see what we got in water jugs. All right, our damage on the first jug is pretty much on par with the 22, except there's a lot more pieces of denim and fiberboard in there. All right, we went through jug two, impacted on three, cracked on four, and our bullet is in four, so we got two more jugs penetration, so instead of about 10 inches, and there is a dent out the back, we're, we're looking at about 18 inches in comparison to the ballistics gel with the 38 special. So that's where momentum really comes into play. What we have is a little bit of deformation on that bullet. So I would say overall, it's pretty similar in size to that 22. So like I was saying, momentum comes into play. When I say momentum, I don't necessarily mean like, oh, it's momentum that's gonna knock somebody down, but momentum definitely is an important thing if you wanna retain energy over a long distance. So if we're to shoot out a little bit a distance, which I plan to do, um, we might see a little bit more knockdown uh, with a cartridge like or a bullet like this so let's hit the wood pack and see how those do all right first up we have the velocitor i have those pieces of wood and behind it's four water jugs which is roughly about 32 pounds of water i'm gonna see if this uh wood pack moves back at all I'm trying to take a little bit of a note of it and see if it moves less than the 38 special 22 velocitor wood pack And we got pretty much nothing except that bounced back. Um, so let's try the 38 special and then we'll open them up. All right, 38 special. We'll see how this does. That was definitely different. Very interesting. All right, here's our 22. Went through board one. And we just barely impacted board two, but we penetrated it a little bit. Can't really tell how far from here, but we can guess, say maybe halfway in board two. Our 38 special, we impacted one. There's barely a mark in board two. It completely split this board apart. It looks like it only went halfway through that first one. So this is one of those times where I'm just kind of, um, question my safety protocol here because that could have ricocheted i didn't think that would even be a possibility uh, but now i know and i'm alive to <laughs> take note of that for the future reference so definitely a difference there uh, when it comes to the um, penetration through wood penetration through everything it kind of makes a difference there uh, so Let's shoot these at a little bit longer range. I'm out of those velocity rounds, but I have some regular old 22 and I have some regular old um, 38 special round nose. Both of those are also low end and we'll just see if it makes a difference at a little bit of a range. I have some Blazer 40 grain round nose and um, I'm going to be about 45 yards from my metal tank down there. 
And these we're pushing out about 1225 feet per second or about you know 130 foot pounds. Uh, my my lead round nose 38 special hand loads are, are pushing out you know about 680 or about you know 160 foot pounds. So a difference of 30 foot pounds uh, with the advantage to that 38 special. But we'll just see anyways. About 45 yards. How these 22s do? All right, pretty decent. Now let's try some 38 special. Now here's my hand loads. Just your basic Hornady bullet, 158 grain lead around those bullets. Doing sub 700 feet a second. See how it does. All right, <laughs> I should focus a little more. Well, that's what you get. I guess I can't complain too much. One being a 24 inch barrel, one's a two inch barrel. Uh, but comparing the two, they're actually a little bit closer than what I was thinking they would be. I was thinking the 22 would just zip through just all those jugs and not do a whole lot of damage. And that the 38 Special would also go through all of them and do, maybe do more damage. But what we saw was momentum definitely came into play where we're pushing a little bit deeper into those water jugs than the 22. But the 22 is putting a little bit more energy right away. But the, the outcome of those ballistic packs and the outcome of what I think it would do to an attacker is pretty similar. So they're definitely comparable. Now, definitely the takeaway of this would be that if you were to take a 38 special and you were to put it in a four inch barrel and it's a plus P, you can get, you know, 500 foot pounds muzzle energy. As for the 22, you're still maxing out about 150, 160 foot pounds energy. So really they're not comparable, but you know, your 22 rifle with the right round can compare to a 380 or a standard pressure 38 special pretty well. So that's what you get today, just a fun little test. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.